What's up everybody, it's Ben with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 2013 BMW K1600 GTL. It is the 1649cc motor, it's a 6 speed transmission, and let's take a walk around this thing. This thing is super clean, we just got it in. And as always, I love riding these things. There's a rear tire. Rear tire's a little worn, probably gonna need to be replaced. I think it should pass inspection. Uh, it does have some riding life on it. It's got a little bit of a flat spot going on. You can see the exhaust, back of the bags, tail light, turn signals all in one. There's the back of the trunk, that BMW logo. Everything looking pretty good, pretty clean on this bike. Not a, not a lot of scratches or there's no dents or anything, um, but we're going to go through some of the marks that are, are, that are on this bike, just so you guys know exactly what you're seeing. Starting here on this side of the bag, there's some, some scratching here, kind of along this line, and then underneath. Don't really know what caused that because there isn't other markings on the bike that would make it look like it was down. I don't think this bike was down, but that scratch is a little bit on the gnarly side. There's the exhaust on this side, it's the aftermarket exhaust, as you can see. You can see the wheel inside there. Up on top of this, up on top of this bag, everything is good to go. There's a small mark right here by the where you put the key in to unlock the bags. You can open these bags. There you go. And they do disconnect. You can take them off like suitcases, which is a really nice feature. There's your passenger peg, there's your side panel, the exposed frame, there's your rider peg, rear brake. Here on the front fairing is looking pretty good on the side. There's the K1600 GTL badge. Here on the side of the tank is looking pretty good. No marks, no chips, no scratches. Uh, here on the Inside the mirror, it's in light scratching. And there's your handlebars. This lever is broken off. Not really sure why that is, but I don't want you to miss it. As you can see, this model does have the fog lights. These fog lights are always a nice added feature for some extra visibility. There you can see the front wheel. It does have the dual rotors up front. There you can see the windshield it is electrical, electrical adjusted, yeah, electronically adjusted windshield. There's the antenna. There's the headlight. These things look sweet when they're on. We'll see that in a little bit. There is your front fender. Again, no giant marks or scratches. Um, just a little bit of dirt on there, a little bit of dirt in there in the grill. There's the front tire. Front tire is looking good. Some tread on there. Pretty sure it's a bass inspection, but very much like the back tire, it will need to be replaced sooner rather than later. Spin this around so we can see the other side. There's this side of the front wheel. I do like these lights here. They're on both sides. Here's the mirror. Good to go along here. There's that badge again. No real, no marks. There is one mark right there, but no real major marks. Again, there's the fog light. All this stuff is looking real clean. Little bit of scratch here and here. Don't miss that. There's your rider peg, shifter knob. Exposed frame, the side of the tank here is looking good. There's controls to adjust different modes on the bike. You can do all that from the handlebar. Uh, BMW has made it really nice, very user friendly to do it right on the handlebar as well. There is your passenger peg. There's your control for the heated seat. Again, these bags are looking good. No like gnarly scratches like on the other side. I don't even hardly anything to like point out. There's one mark there on the handle. And I'll take a 
take a look here at the seat. Got the big high backrest for the passenger seat. Again, comfy seat there. There's the rider seat, a little bit of back support. It is a heated seat. Come up over the tank. Everything is looking good. Don't forget, unleaded premium. Here is the controller to help adjust through the volume and all the settings and everything on the screen. This is a very, very user friendly piece of equipment. Here's the other controls. There's the gauge cluster and the controls on the brake side. There's your mirrors and all that. Turn it on. It does have key fobs, which is really nice for locking up the bike and the bags. Anyway, Saw the gauges sweep there. And as you can see, there is four. 4,500 miles on this bike, 4,586 miles. There will be a few more on this after Sean does his test drive and probably when I drive this bike home at night because it's so fun to ride. Um, let me fire this thing up so you guys can run. Comes right to life. the halo effect going on there in the headlights again like I said don't miss out on the test drive that Sean does this bike um, it's not gonna last long especially with 4,500 miles um, and being super blast to ride make sure the signals work there's your rear signal and there's your front signal there's your front signal on this side There's your rear signal. All right, guys. Like I said, it's a 2013 BMW K1600 GTL. Don't miss out on this bike. Thanks so much for watching.